Here we go. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Greater Atlanta Area Virtual College Fair with Oglethorpe University today. Uh, before we get started, I just want to go over a few quick housekeeping items. The first is the Q&A button. Um, so to interact with the panelists with any questions you may have, please feel free to use that Q&A button. Uh, you can send questions directly to them and they can address them as they go through. I also want to remind you that your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you during the presentation. And just a reminder, this is just one of many sessions, so feel free to go and sign up for additional sessions. And about one week from this webinar, you'll be able to access a recording via the same website where you signed up for today's session. But without further ado, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and turn it over to Oglethorpe. Perfect. Okay, so as we mentioned, um, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Throughout the entire presentation, we'll have the Q&A function available, and we might be typing some answers to you guys, but most of the time we'll be getting to them at the end of the presentation. Um, so that'll give us ample time to get to you guys. But we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves before we get started with the presentation. So my name is Ethan Hawkland. I'm a senior admission counselor here at Oglethorpe University. Been working here for about two years. And I specifically work with students from uh, Cobb, Cherokee, and Douglas counties, Georgia. Um, I also work from, uh, with some out-of-state territories, including South and North Carolina, as well as North Florida. Um, but I will go ahead and turn it over to my colleague, Katie, for introduction. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie. Um, I am our other senior admission counselor at Oglethorpe. I um, have also been there um, a little over two years. Um, and I represent students from Northwest Georgia, as well as our transfer students. Um, so it's some really great people. I'm really excited to share with you um, a lot of the basic information you need to know about Oglethorpe today. Um, if you guys have in-depth questions, anything like that, please feel free um, to put it in the comments section like Ethan mentioned. All right, so we will go ahead and get started with our presentation today. Um, Katie is actually going to be the one, um, you know, having the presentation on her screen. So um, might be a little, a slight delay there at the beginning, but um, we're going to, you know, take turns presenting and get to all your questions throughout the entire presentation. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. So our first slide here, um, this is our title slide. This is um, just some pictures of the campus actually. Top two and bottom right picture are all buildings on campus um, that you guys will be able to be a part of. And the bottom left picture is actually a picture of the city of Atlanta. So it's not on campus, but it's something we always like to highlight. So when we talk about going to college, the first thing we like to make sure we, you know, sort of center in students' mind is, you know, why are you wanting to go to college, right? And most of the time it's like, well, I want to get a great education. I want to get, you know, um, you know, whatever steps I need to be better prepared for my adult life or whatever. Um, but at Oglethorpe, we are really focused on, you know, three key aspects of making a life, make a living, and make a difference. Um, so we're going to teach you, you know, the fundamental principles of uh, how to establish and discover what you're passionate about, what you want to be doing, how that's going to apply to your living, right? So your career, but most importantly, how to make an impact and to make a difference in everyone's life, whether that's inside the classroom, um, in personal relationships, or in the professional sense. Um, so those are our three key part, parts that we like to focus on at Oglethorpe, um, but I just kind of wanted to make sure you guys got that set beforehand. In general, Oglethorpe is a small school located in the city of Atlanta. So when I say small, we have just under 1,500 students. Our average classes are 17 and nothing is bigger than 25. So when you're at Oglethorpe, you're really getting that personal connection with your professors. You know, you really get to know every student in your classroom and your professors, you know, really get to know what you're passionate about, what you're wanting to do for career, and they know your name. And I think that's such an important fact to include about Oglethorpe is that at Oglethorpe, you're not a number, you know, you're definitely like an individual and our professors are there to help you, you know, guide your path on the way you want to um, proceed, whether that's, you know, going to grad school, looking for a professional job after you, um, you know, graduate within the four years um, or, um, you know, whatever your next step might be. 
And I'll talk a little bit more about that later when I talk about the Oklahoma difference. But the second part I like to highlight is the Atlanta community. Um, <clears throat> so sorry about that. Uh, so our um, uh, it goes without saying that Atlanta has a lot of resources available to our students. So a lot of our students do different kinds of research opportunities and uh, you know professional development opportunities such as like internships and stuff like that. So it leads for a very connected living and hands-on learning experience for all of our students. Um, and without that, I'll go ahead and move into our academic program. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we are a small private liberal arts college. Um, so what it means to be liberal arts is you're getting an interdisciplinary academic curriculum. So what that means is through our general education, you're going to get exposed to a bunch of different topics that really challenges your you know, critical thinking skills. Um, we're gonna make sure you're an effective communicator and know how to problem solve any situation you're uh, involved in. So officially we like to call uh, core our job training for every job you ever have because it's such a versatile aspect of our education. Um, so there are nine core classes that you have to take. At another you know, typical university, you might have to take like five humanities courses, two lab sciences, like two English credits or something like that. But at Oglethorpe, our core curriculum are only these nine classes. Um, there are classes that are very unique to Oglethorpe, such as like um, discovery of self, self-narrative, human nature, social order, and things of that nature. Um, so since there are only nine core classes, you kind of get to only take one core class each semester. For one semester, you're going to be able to double up. Um, but the benefit of that is that starting your freshman year, you really get to dive in early on in your major courses to determine if that's what you actually want to be doing. Um, so there's no pressure to feel like you're waiting until your third year to figure out, is this really what, what I want to be majoring in? Um, so after um, you know, finishing the core program, a lot of our students tend to be you know, very thankful that they have that experience. It tends to be the most notable part of their older um, career. So uh, all students are required to take core. Nobody is exempt from it. So it's a very shared common learning experience between everybody, regardless of your major. But speaking of majors, we'll go ahead and move on into that. Um, so at Oglethorpe, we have 60 different academic programs for students to choose from. Our most popular majors are business, biology, theater, communications, and physics slash engineering. So um, the two most recent developments that we've had on campus within those two majors are the Cousins Center for Science and Innovation and the Hammock School of Business. So I'll talk about the CCSI first. So the Cousins Center is our new STEM facility on campus. Um, it's actually Katie's virtual background, if you wanted to take a quick little look at that. Um, so a lot of our students are really taking advantage of our new lab equipment and stuff like that that's being offered there. Um, new research opportunities being presented. So it's a really awesome facility for students involved in STEM. It also serves as our 24 hour study space on campus. So a lot of students, regardless of their major, will be spending a lot of time there collaborating with other students and you know, getting their homework done and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a really awesome building. It's probably my favorite building on campus. Um, but the other development that I wanna talk about is the Hammock School of Business. Now, Mr. Bill Hammock was an Oglethorpe business graduate who claims a lot of his success in this world is due to the Oglethorpe business program. Um, so with that, he gave us a $50 million grant to finish the Cousin Center for Science and Innovation, but also implement the School of Business. So the Hammock School of Business is actually um, located in Lupton Hall on campus. A lot of our students have had a lot of opportunity to expand in their majors and minors through the Hammock School of Business, as well as a new certificate in business analytics that we're offering. Um, so I'm more than happy to talk to you about that in a little more detail um, if you guys do have questions about that, but I will go ahead and keep moving forward. Um, so if there is not an academic program that you find yourself aligning with, you can easily get involved in the, um, you know, individually planned major as well, um, which is sort of, a, you know, a big difference that you have at Oglethorpe is sort of, you know, being able to create your own major. Um, but some other differences that I want to highlight at Oglethorpe is our faculty mentorship. So as I mentioned earlier, you are not a number, you are a name at Oglethorpe. And I think that's something that goes without speaking. So with our average class sizes being 17 and our student fracture, faculty ratio being 15 to one, you are really getting that genuine connection with your professors. A lot of students at Oglethorpe have the opportunity to, you know, build their network and have a, you know, amazing experience being able to have references outside of the classroom, whether they're looking for a new internship or not. Um, and I think that's, you know, something that is definitely taken for granted a lot of the time in your college experience. 
when you go to our larger scale school, I'm not saying it's impossible to have that kind of connection with your uh, faculty, but it's a lot more um, organic at Oklahoma because it just happens very naturally due to our size. And I think that's a very, you know, uh, that's a very advantageous fact um, for our students going through the program at Oklahoma. Um, the second thing I'd like to talk about, which kind of ties into a faculty mentorship, is our Compass Advising Program. The Compass Advising Program is a first year advising program to make the transition from high school to college be seamless. So students in their first year at Oglethorpe have a Compass Advisor who's there to help them um, with any question it could be about, whether it's about academics, residence life, financial aid, you know, campus living, involvement, stuff like that, they're going to be there to help you with. And they're going to be able to, you know, um, assist you through the whole transition within your first year. You're required to meet with your Compass Advisor four times each semester, but after that, you are, um, you know, then reassigned to an academic advisor. But again, tying into the mentorship aspect, even though you're no longer reporting to your Compass Advisor, you still have that established connection and that network at Oglethorpe to make sure you are as successful as you can be moving forward. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the Atlanta Laboratory for Learning, which we just shortened to the A-Lab. So this is our hub for connecting the Oglethorpe community to the Atlanta community and beyond. So there's a lot of opportunity here, whether it's in our career development department, global education, or civic engagement. So every student has, you know, a different experience there based on what they're really wanting to focus on. Some of our students study abroad multiple times while they're in college. Others pursue two to three internships throughout their four years. Um, so it, it really just depends on um, how involved you're wanting to be there, but they're excellent resource for you, preparing you for your next steps after Oglethorpe. So the next slide we're going to talk about is our campus living. Um, so at Oglethorpe, unless you live within the 25 mile radius of campus, you typically are living on campus for three years. After your third year, you are more than welcome to live on campus, um, but you also have the opportunity to, um, you know, get your own apartment or live at home if that's something you are looking to do. Um, but there's a lot of ways to be involved on campus, whether you are living there or not. Um, so we have 60 different clubs and organizations to choose from. Now, um, obviously, our uh, student organizations um, are all under SGA, which is a huge governing factor at Oglethorpe as well. Um, so plenty of things to be involved in. But if there's not something you're finding yourself interested in, you definitely have the opportunity to create your own organization while you're there. We have nine Greek sororities and fraternities on campus. About 21% of our student population um, are involved in Greek life. And Greek life is a really, really awesome opportunity. Um, you know, just being involved and in having sort of a family, a shared common learning experience with your you know, fellow colleagues and students, stuff like that. Um, Katie actually was in sorority when she was in college herself, so she can tell you a little bit more about that from an um, anecdotal experience. But um, I think it's an awesome experience that a lot of our students have at Oglethorpe, um, just being able to have the whole community to support you in whatever you're wanting to do. We also have 16 D3 athletic, in, uh, sorry, athletic teams at Oglethorpe. We are a D3 institution. Um, so this is a really, really awesome experience to be a D3 athlete. Um, I actually was a D3 athlete myself when I was in college, um, so I had a wonderful time with that. Um, the biggest thing I would say about D3 is, you know, since there's no scholarship involved with your participation in the sport, you really develop a big sense of pride for your school and your team. And being able to share that experience with people of like mind is just such a morale boosting experience for all of our students. Um, whether you're on the team or off the team, it's always something to be involved in. On top of that, we have eight on-campus residence halls for students to choose from when they're living on campus. However, after your first year, if you decide you don't want to live in residence hall, you are welcome to live at Gables Brookhaven, which is an apartment complex that we've partnered with um, here in Atlanta for students to uh, live in and um, uh, live there instead of their residence halls. We also have some classrooms in Gables Brookhaven as well. So it's right on campus. There's no need to drive or anything like that. You simply can walk to and fro. Um, so it's really, really convenient. But if there's not a way for you to be involved in campus or you're just looking to explore the city of Atlanta, we are not too far away from the nearest MARTA station as well. So the Brookhaven Oglethorpe MARTA station is um, about a mile from campus. Um, and it goes everywhere, you know, from downtown and, um, you know, all the way to the airport if you're actually needing to fly anywhere. Um, so it's really convenient um, for you to have that kind of um, accessibility to campus. 
Um, but yeah, every student has a different campus living experience. You know, it's a great opportunity to really get invested and involved and make your experience unique to you. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to actually turn it over to Katie. She'll be handling you guys for the rest of the presentation, and I will be answering any Q&A you guys are sending through. Um, so as a reminder, make sure to send your questions through, and we'll be sure to answer them as we go along or answer them at the end. But I will go ahead and turn it over to you, Katie. Thanks, Ethan. Um, so for anyone who has not heard, um, we are the Stormy Petrels. Um, it is a one-of-a-kind mascot, Petey the Petrel is my very favorite um, but the name is the basis for this it's our petrol promise let's just say if you have done what you need to do you are going to class and meeting with your professors we guarantee that you will graduate in four years and get a job or grad school admission within your field within six months or your fifth year of classes is free that is to say we are not worried for you. We do not think you'll need this, but we also don't want you to feel like once you graduate, you're out the door. Um, we continue to support our alumni, continue to support our students far after their graduation. Um, and we really have a lot of faith in our career services and our alumni network that you will succeed. Um, I especially point this out to students who are worried that they're taking a non-practical major. Um, they say, oh, Katie, what if I can't do art history? First of all, there are some really incredible museums in Atlanta. I'm not worried about you. Um, but if something happens, come back, take our business analytics certificate. Ethan's actually taking it right now. Uh, you can take something else that can really um, add to your resume to make sure that you continue to succeed. Um, but one of the reasons we are not worried for you, do not think that you'll need it, is because so many of our graduates have gone on to succeed before you. Um, this is a teeny tiny little handful of the businesses and schools our students have gone on to pursue. Um, these organizations our students have interned with while they were students, gone on to work for after graduation. Um, they've done some really fantastic research with the Center for Disease Control. We're really well located um, in Atlanta that Brookhaven has some of the best uh, organizations for um, health care in the whole city, um, whether you want to work for the Shepherd Center, whether you want to get involved in research. Um, if you want to uh, get into theater, uh, we mentioned it is one of our largest programs, um, but even if you're not musically talented, um, the professional groups put on performances in our space because it is so high level. Um, so we have a great partnership with the Alliance Theater. And then we actually have more Porsche corporate employees that are Oglethorpe graduates than any other college in the nation. Um, and though you see some big names listed here, I also want to reassure you, if you want to work for a nonprofit, we've got a great nonprofit management minor. If you want to work for a small startup, we've got an urban leadership minor that is all about connecting you with your entrepreneurial potential. Uh, so whatever field you want to go into, we will continue to support you through that process. Um, even if that does mean going into more schooling, if you choose to pursue um, one of our pre-professional tracks, uh, you'll have an advisor who says, okay, we're going to law school, or going to be a physical therapist, we're going to veterinary school. Uh, okay, here are the steps that we should take, tests you need to take, how you should have your resume looking. Um, they really support you through every part of that process so you can be as successful as possible. Um, now, so you don't have to take our words for it. Um, we reached out to our students and we said, okay, when you think of Oglethorpe, what, what words come to mind? Um, it made us really happy that so many said home. Uh, we hope that whether or not a student lives on campus, they do feel like our community is a home to them. And we are a very diverse and inclusive campus. About 51% of our students identify as non-white. Um, we have people from all different states, countries, backgrounds, mindsets um, that really come together into one really cohesive group. Um, and the great thing about being on a small campus is you have so many opportunities to get to know people. So we stole these pictures from our students' Instagrams with permission, I promise. And um, we just wanted you to be able to see them, enjoying themselves, um, getting involved, going out into Atlanta, having fun. Um, because as we mentioned, we want to make sure you are making a living. Um, we all want to make sure 
that you are making a life and a difference as well. Um, we have a really strong basis in philanthropy. We want um, to help you carve your way in the world. Now, important, uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the application process, including our fantastic scholarships. So, uh, we are known for being a really great value. We are one of only 25th best buy schools. Uh, and the way that scholarships work is our merit scholarships are given um, solely based off of your admission application. You don't have to fill out anything separately for merit scholarships. 90% of our students earn a merit scholarship just based off um, of that admission application, somewhere between 18 and $23,000. Um, so it's a big chunk change. Then we're going to encourage you to fill out the FAFSA if you're eligible. If you're not, we have an internal aid application you can fill out instead. Um, and with that, we will automatically give you $500 every year you fill it out because that is the way we're able to determine need-based aid and whatever, of whatever federal aid that you qualify for. Um, then if anyone here is super musically talented, if you are interested in being in one of our OU singers groups or in one of our music ensembles playing the instrument, we do have music scholarships available based on auditions. Uh, then we, if anyone is earning the IB diploma, um, if that's something offered at your school, we have scholarships for that as well. Now, launching into the state aid category, um, you'll see these um, are the numbers for Georgia Hope and for Georgia Zell uh, for Oglethorpe from the state. We actually use something a little special called uh, the Hope Match, um, where we will give you an extra $4,300 from Oglethorpe for qualifying um, for Hope or Zell, because we know you worked hard for it. Um, the way uh, that it works is we will roll out our financial aid award letters and then Ethan and I and our fellow counselors call each and every student to say, hey, let's walk you through this. Let's make sure that you understand how all of this works. So that way you don't feel like you, you know, every school kind of publishes things differently. Um, so you don't feel like anything is catching you off guard, uh, that this all makes sense. Now, the numbers you see on your screen here are not admission numbers, nor are they to qualify for any scholarship, but they are uh, what's required for our signature scholarship program, the flagship 50. So you have either a 3.8 weighted GPA on a 4 point of scale, uh, or a 30 ACT, or 1400 SAT. Um, we are test optional. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, what we're doing is we're guaranteeing that our tuition will not be higher uh, than that of the flagship institution of your state. So for our Georgia residents, that is the University of Georgia. Florida, University of Florida, Alabama, University of Alabama. Um, and so the way that works is that we guarantee everything in that institutional aid category um, will be high enough to get you down to that flagship rate. Um, and that's an absolute maximum. So it's before state aid, that is before any federal aid or outside scholarships. Um, and every number that I've given so far is renewable for all four years. So it'd be $20,000 per year. Um, so if you are close to this, you're on your fall semester um, and you're a little worried like, oh, I'm a 3.78, um, do not worry. We continue um, to update our scholarships based on the most recent information that we have. Um, so if you apply in the fall, but your GPA goes up, we will update uh, your eligibility. Now, a bit about the admission process. Uh, we are what's called rolling admission which means from the moment that I have everything listed in this required column, uh, we guarantee that you will have a response from us within two weeks. So a very quick turnaround. You don't have to wait months to hear back. And those required materials um, are your application. You'll submit that either through the Common App or straight through the Oglethorpe website, uh, whichever you are using. If you apply before November 1st, which is our non-binding early action deadline, so not making any commitments, doing it early, um, it is automatically free to apply. So definitely recommend that. 
then you're going to ask your school to send your transcript. Um, that way we will be able to look at not just your GPA, but what kind of courses you were taking. If you were um, taking AP or dual enrollment courses, that's great. Um, if you did take dual enrollment, we ask that you send um, that transcript directly from the college as well. Then a short personal statement. Um, it really just about a page um, and we are not really crazy about the prompt. We don't make anything crazy like what color crayon are you? Uh, it is a chance for you to share about yourself. Um, it is something where you can show us your writing style. Ethan talked about our core program. Um, we really do put a lot of pride in our students' ability to be great writers. And so we want to see a bit of a sample of yours. Um, then you'll see in this optional category, we have some fun options. Um, one being, if you have tested and you are happy with your test scores, we will take them. Now, um, they are entirely not required. If you have taken them and you're not really happy with your score um, or you're not sure where you stand, I always recommend looking up the college's previous 50%. Um, so their average to say, okay, I'm on the higher end of this or I'm on the lower end of this, that can help me decide whether I should send them. Um, then if you are interested, um, we do have an interview option. Now, it would be with me or Ethan or whoever your counselor is. We are, as you can see, not intimidating people. <laughs> we are just there to have a conversation with you to say like, oh, wow, you're interested in psychology. Tell me why. Like, tell me more about that, especially if you're not really feeling super excited about your personal statement. You don't feel like writing really gets across who you are. That can be a great option. Now, if the idea of doing that live is scary for you, it shouldn't be, but we do have a video submission option you can do instead. Um, we have a fantastic film and media studies program. That is not what this is. Uh, we're not looking at your editing skills. We just want you to sit in front of the camera and tell us about yourself. Um, tell us why you're applying to Oglethorpe. Tell us who you are. Um, so the final thing that you can send in is a recommendation letter. That can come from a counselor, a coach, a mentor, a teacher, whoever you think uh, can speak to you well. I always say, I think our Gen Z has been told for a long time that um, you get participation trophies and it makes it really hard for you to feel like you can brag on yourself. Um, I want you to know your college application is your chance to brag your heart out. Uh, but if you have trouble with that, find a recommender who can brag for you. Um, someone who knows who you are, who can say they were great inside the classroom, they were great outside the classroom. Uh, so these are the portions. If there are any questions about those, please put them in the chat box. Um, but other than that, um, we will also put the link to this, our 360 virtual tour in the chat box, um, because it is a great way um, to see inside the Cousins building, to see the dining hall, um, that A-Lab we were talking about, all of the important spots on campus. Um, so we'll add that there. Um, but in the meantime, please guys throw your questions into the chat box um, and we will start to answer. Um, yes. I see questions um, about internships on campus. Um, something I'll go ahead and say is our career services. Erin um, Cheryl is the head of that. She is fantastic. Um, we will have conversations with you. You'll have conversations with your compass advisor to say, okay, what kind of things are you interested in? And then we have a platform called Handshake uh, that connects you with all of the job opportunities that are open on campus, ones that um, local employers have offered to us. Um, so whether you're looking for a job while you are in undergrad um, or whether you are looking for an internship, um, that is a great place to be able to see what is available to you. Um, and yeah, we're in Atlanta, so the world is your oyster. There are a whole lot of opportunities um, in a lot of different fields uh, to get your hands-on experience. Katie, um, why don't we, um, we have some questions that were asked throughout the entire presentation um, that we typed answers to, but I think we're going to um, you know, also answer them live in case there's anyone else who may have had the same question. Um, so Katie, can you just recap? Um, somebody wanted to know what our most popular majors are. All right, so um, our most popular majors um, include 
business, uh, psychology, engineering, theater, uh, communications, um, and then really one of the big ones right now is our, our what I call the pre-med majors. Um, so typically biology, um, but students going along our pre-med track. That is the reason we built the new Cousin Center, um, to give those students a great space. Um, and it really is fantastic. It's not a classroom space and a lab space. It is all of that integrated into one. So you can go straight from taking notes on a lecture to jumping into actually doing the science, um, which is a lot more engaging than having to stare at a screen all day. Gotcha. Okay, so our next question is, um, can you have a car on campus your freshman year? Um, I can actually answer that one if you want me to. Uh, so the answer is yes, you are welcome to have a car on campus all four years that you're at Oglethorpe. Um, so the way that we do our parking situation is um, we have different zones on campus for students to park in. So you get a parking permit based on where you're going to be parking your car on campus. Now I will say it is not very convenient to drive on campus. Our campus is very small um, in terms of size. So there's never really a convenient way for you to drive around campus and more so it's tends to be a lot more convenient for you just to walk. Um, so that is, that's pretty much what I wanted to say on that. He um, says that because some students will go from their dorms and want to drive to class. Like you can walk faster than you want to drive. Um, and it's yeah, a little more eco-friendly. Um, but one of the great things about the accessibility of our campus and our location is we are right next to town Brookhaven, um, which has all of the shops, restaurants, movie theater, uh, what am I missing, Costco, all of the things that a student needs is available at your fingertips. So you can walk right over to there if you need anything. Um, and then if you do need to get to the airport, if you need to get to a sporting event or to a concert, um, our campus security is always glad to drive you to the MARTA station because it is less than a mile down the road um, to make sure that you get everywhere safely. Um, so there are a lot of different transportation options, whether or not you have a car. Absolutely. So not required to have a car, but definitely an option for you. Um, okay, so let's see what some other questions may be. Can you speak more about the Hammock School of Business? Is accounting part of that? Finance, actuarial science, any special opportunities within that program? Um, so I talked a little bit about that business analytics certificate um, that Ethan is taking. Ethan, you are our, our newest business <laughs> studier, so I'll let you speak to that. Yes, of course. So um, with the Hammond School business, we have a lot of new developments going on. Um, so some majors, just to name off, are like business administration, economics, accounting. Um, we have a new management major also through our Hammond School of Business. Um, but one of the most recent developments that we have is our certificate in business analytics. So in addition to your typical, you know, undergraduate degree, your four-year bachelor's degree that you're working on, we also offer a certificate specifically in business analytics. Um, now, as an undergraduate student, there are only three courses that you have to take to satisfy those requirements. Um, but this certificate is basically giving you the expertise needed to make sure you are prepared to work with um, big data and stuff like that, and making sure you can make compelling and easily digestible visualizations, um, because those seem to be very big driving factors in the business world. Um, so through the certificate program and the Hammond School business in general, you're going to be better prepared to have, you know, different kinds of positions, including like data engineer, um, data analysts, and things of that nature. Um, so it's a really awesome opportunity. We offer it as a fast track for students who are not in the undergraduate program, meaning um, that is the only thing that they are doing at Oglethorpe. They are only getting that certificate program. Um, so it's a little different um, than your experience would be as an undergraduate student. Um, but there's a lot of great opportunities available through the Hammock School of Business. Um, as we have mentioned before, um, we have a full tuition scholarship for our Hammock School of Business. Um, now we typically award one of those every single year based on your competition through scholarship weekend. Um, that's a really great opportunity for our students looking to be um, involved in majoring in business. 
Yeah, so let's go ahead and, and lay out the way that Scholarship Weekend works. We haven't talked about that yet. Um, so Scholarship Weekend is invitation only, and it requires that you apply in that early action period. So before November 1st, you guys got another month. Um, but with that, we're having our overall academic competition in December, um, and it is for people of all majors. It is just based on um, showing some really great academics in your application. And then when you get to the actual competition, it will be virtual this year uh, and hopefully we'll be back in person in future years. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll have you meet with our professors, meet with our alumni, really get to know what your future could be like at Oglethorpe. Um, and so that's a great opportunity. We award um, our JEO overall academic scholarships. And um, we also are awarding our civic engagement scholarship. Um, so we keep the term civic engagement broad on purpose um, because civic engagement can mean anything from phone baking for a nonprofit to actual physical volunteering. Um, we know more and more is virtual nowadays. So make sure when you're filling out that application, if you think you might be qualified for this, make sure you list that information about your involvement um, in your activity section. Um, and maybe even in your, we usually ask why Oglethorpe, um, which it's not an extra essay, it's just a little blurb. Well, I'm not like, oh, I'm really interested in going pre-med. Um, I know you guys have a great program and I wanna be in Atlanta. Um, you could say, I want to be deeply civically engaged and I know that's something that's important to Oglethorpe. Um, now our other full tuition scholarship, other than the business one that is major specific, is our theater full tuition scholarships. So there are two for theater and they are audition based. So you do need to be either a theater major or an English major um, to win this. Um, and you do have to have continued involvement in the theater program, which I would hope you want to if you are um, auditioning and greatly theatrically talented. Um, again, it is just a great opportunity to get to know your fellow business majors, your fellow theater majors to see what your classmates like might be like. Um, so that is another great reason to apply before November 1st. Now, let's look into a few more of these questions. Um, will there be any study abroad programs? Yes, we have 16 different campuses around the world that are Oglethorpe classes, Oglethorpe professors, just, you know, in a different country. Um, and if for some reason you don't see the country you want to study on that list, um, we have extra programs, partnerships um, that can get you linked up pretty much anywhere in the world. And we'll just make sure that that counts for school credit. Um, we thoroughly recommend studying abroad as a way to kind of broaden your horizons to be able to maybe learn a new language fluently. Um, it can be really beneficial for our students. Gotcha. Okay, so I actually wanted to talk about something. Someone specifically asked me this, uh, just because um, I happen to work with a lot of our student athletes. Someone specifically wanted to know if we have a cheerleading team. And um, I'm actually the staff point person for cheerleading at Oglethorpe, because I was also a cheerleader when I was in college. Um, but we did not have a competitive cheerleading team here at Oglethorpe. Um, it is a student organization under SGA, and our cheerleaders, you know, cheer a, a lot of our uh, events, including basketball. Basketball tends to be their very busy season. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about that, you are more than welcome to send me an email. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make sure I included that up front. Um, if anyone is interested in that, I'm happy to talk to you about that. Um, so our latest question, do you admit international students? Um, we do actually, our um, Associate Director of Admission um, stays in touch with all of our international students to make sure that the process um, of applying for visas and getting everything goes through smoothly. Um, and so we do definitely welcome our international students. Um, anything you'd like to add on that, Ethan? Nothing specifically, um, but we do have a really great support system for international students, um, as we've mentioned. So uh, Kelly Butler, our associate director, you know, does extensive work with our international students, making sure their transition to college is as seamless as possible. Um, so if you need any more clarification on that, feel free to shoot us an email, shoot your admission counselor an email, and we'll make sure to get you connected to the appropriate person. 
And while we're talking um, about Kelly and the population supports, um, she also is our coordinator for our Dream US partnership. Um, so if anyone here is a dreamer, has DACA status, um, or has been in the United States for the last four years, um, we have a partnership um, with this organization, again, the Dream US, that provides full tuition scholarships to dreamers. Um, so if you think you might qualify for that, feel free to get in touch with us. We'll put you in touch with Kelly and we can get that all filled out. Um, but yes, that is a great opportunity. Um, looking in questions, what is the required GPA, SAT, and ACT for graduates? Um, one, there's no required SAT or ACT because those are entirely optional now. Um, but we also say there is no number that will guarantee you admission or that will keep you out of Oglethorpe. Um, we call it a holistic application for a reason. We are looking at every part of your application and how we think you will thrive on the Oglethorpe campus. Um, so we are taking into account GPA, but we do not have a minimum. Um, so hope that answers your question. Let me know if you have any follow up about that. Um, We have a few program specific questions. Um, one about our communications and media program. That's actually one of our newest majors. Um, so we have both communications as a major it has some specific programs within there. So public relations is one of those, rhetoric and public discourse. We also have uh, film and media studies. Uh, the film industry is booming in Atlanta. Uh, we have tons of studios, including one a couple of miles down the road from us. Um, and so our students are able to really get a real feel for the entire process in the film and media studies program. We learn the camera work and the lighting and all of that, as well as the history of film, um, the ways that it has influenced our culture. Uh, so it's really learning a lot about all the parts of that. Um, we also have had quite a bit of filming actually on our campus. Um, I'm not advocating for it. I haven't watched it. Um, but if you go to Netflix, Teenage Bounty Hunter, um, the very first shot is a zoom in on the building that Ethan and I work in. Uh, so it is a really gorgeous campus. Um, you'll see if you look through the virtual tour. Um, it's very photogenic. <laughs> All right. Um, I just wanted to make sure everyone's uh, being a little mindful. We are getting close to the end of our presentation. So just as a reminder, if we do not get to your question, that's perfectly fine. Um, we will follow up with you afterwards. And we always encourage you to reach out to your admission counselor um, to follow up with any questions you may have. Um, so if you don't know who your admission counselor is, or you're just trying to get connected with somebody, you can just shoot us a general email at admission at Oglethorpe edu um, and we will make sure to get your questions addressed um, but we will keep um, answering a couple more questions before um, we are uh, finished with our time here um, so uh, one question someone wanted to ask um, they said are students required to live on campus so yes as mentioned earlier unless you live within 25 miles of campus you are required to live on campus for three of your four years um, so, if you do live within that 12, 25 mile radius, you can simply apply for um, housing exemption, um, but otherwise you are going to be living on campus. You do have some options on where you live on campus. After your first year, you're then, uh, you're then able to live in Gables Brook Haven, which is an apartment complex that we've partnered with as well. Um, we'd like to go ahead and say uh, thank you all for coming um, and chatting with us today. Uh, we are really a very hands-on office. So if you receive any email, no matter how automated it looks, any text, respond to it. It goes directly to your individual counselor, the person who represents your school. So please do not be afraid um, to reach out to us. That is what we are here for. That is what we love to do. Um, so we look forward to staying in touch with you all getting your applications hopefully before November 1st uh, and continuing um, to get to know all of you. So um, I see Christopher from StriveScan has popped back up, which means it is our time to let him take back over. Um, but thank you guys so much for your time. Um, and again, if you have any 
um, thing that you want to hear back, there will be a recording posted in about a week. Great. Thank you, Oglethorpe University and all of your attendees for your great questions this evening. Very interactive audience. Uh, before I end the session, just want to go over a few final things. Again, thank you to all of you for joining us this evening. Uh, once we close this session, uh, you will get a quick four question survey. We ask that you just take a minute and complete that. Again, we encourage you to sign up for more sessions. And as Katie mentioned, a recording of this session will be available in about one week at the same site that you use to register for this session. So thank you all. Thank you, Orgel Thorpe. We appreciate your time. Uh, have a great evening and good luck with your college applications, everybody.